Hi, excuse me. Um, pretty sure my tire is damaged. Not sure why, but uh, I was wondering how you're gonna fix that for me. Oh yeah, sure, let's take a look. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, no, we are not going to fix this. And I'll explain why next. We're not gonna fix it. When a vehicle's tire gets damaged, it's probably going to be more cost effective for the customer if you repair it instead of selling them a brand new tire. But cost isn't the only concern. The more important question is, is it going to be safe for you to fix the tire? You can start by making sure the tire manufacturer authorizes the proposed repairs for that particular tire in front of you. Fail to do this and there could be catastrophic failure of the tire during inflation or use. Next, take a look at the tire itself. You'll need to check for indications that a tire should be replaced, not repaired. Here is a list of reasons you should not try to repair a tire. There is two thirty seconds of an inch or less of tread on any two adjacent tread grooves. If so, the tire is not legal for use on US highways. The tire cord or steel belt is exposed. There are flex brakes or severe sidewall abrasions. There is any evidence of a separation in the tread area or the sidewall. There is any evidence to indicate the tire has been run flat. There are punctures or damage to the shoulder or sidewall areas. Areas of the bead that are integral to the structure of the bead area are damaged. Or if the tire does not contain a serial number. Remember, never inflate a damaged tire because this could result in serious injury. If a tire appears to be damaged, demount it and thoroughly inspect it. I'm David Sickles coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.